penny pasta with meat sauce. A great spaghetti alternative. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. Today we're going to make penny pasta with meat sauce. And it is a great spaghetti alternative, and it's not as messy to make or serve. This is one of those wonderful make-ahead recipes. If it is a recipe, while I was brewing my coffee this morning, I went ahead and browned one pound of ground meat. And then I poured in one can of pasta sauce. And by the time I was finished, so was the coffee. Stirred it up, set it aside, and let it cool for about 15 minutes. Then I was able to cover it in saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and make it when I'm ready now. So you can put this in the refrigerator, go to work, and then take it out when you get home, and you'll be ready to go. When you get home from work, if you have the time, take it out of the refrigerator, set it down, and let it get to room temperature. Or, alternately, your kids get home from school, say about four o'clock, they can take it out for you. You get home at five, it'll be ready to go. So that's where we are. This is your penny pasta. There are several brands, and it doesn't matter. And then, of course, your old standby pasta sauce. In this pan, which is a bit undersized, I must be honest, is my penny pasta with about a tablespoon or even a tablespoon and a half of butter to keep it from sticking to each other. You just put your hot pasta into your dish and mix it up just a little bit. And your hot pasta will start to warm your sauce up. It just never hurts to use this big Bertha bowl. <laughs> I should know better by now, and you do too, but that's how it goes sometimes. Mix in the rest of it. It's always nice to use a bigger pan or a bigger bowl than what you need because it gives you plenty of that extra insurance that I'm known for. Only I just didn't do it today. <laughs> Stir it in good, and if you need to, you can set it in the microwave for a minute, and you're done. It's a fast meal you can make after a hard day's work and your kids get home, your husband, whatever, and you're hungry, and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time. Even if you're making this straight through, where you have to brown your ground meat, and then cook your pasta, that's about 10 or 15 minutes if you do it at the same time. You can even say 30. But in 30 minutes, you have a meal, and you can put it with a little salad, get you some uh, garlic bread, and there you go. So, I love this. I love to make something like this when my wife goes out of town, it'll last for days. And that's just nice, and you can also take it to work. If you like this recipe for super easy penny pasta with meat sauce, give it a thumbs up. Look at that goodness. And there's your thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about your experiences with this recipe, if you call it a recipe, and what else you'd like to see in the kitchen. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. I'm Jim Hightower and remember, everyone needs help, even me. While I was brewing my coffee this morning, I went ahead and ground, ground, ha. Huh? When you get home from work, if you have the time, take it out of the refrigerator and let it sit till it, huh? get out of here. Subscribe and share with your Hi, hey, guy. And who doesn't need another quick, easy recipe that you can halfway make a hit? Uh, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. <laughs>